Hello everyone, once again it's Julie with Artie Party Paints and today we're going to show you how to do a really awesome scary skull on your whole face with my wonderful amazing husband Andrew here as the model. So let's get started. Alright, so to start off you're going to need three sponges today cut into quarters like this. So first you start with your Wolf or Diamond FX White. Fully load that sponge up there. And you're going to start right in the middle. You're going to kind of go follow right on top of the eyebrows, the dip in the middle, and then follow right up just dabbing as you go and come right around to the corner of the eye there and stop. And do the same thing on the other side. Create kind of a bump over the eyebrows there. You can fill those in as well. All right, and stop right at the corner of the eye there. Now you're going to start again, it's underneath that eye where you met it before, they don't have to connect. And you're going to create a bump like this and dab it in, filling in that space in between. Just like that. And go right across the nose. So you see the shape goes around like that and then around like that and into the corner of the nostril. So you don't want it to go too far down. And keep loading up your sponge. Do the same thing on the other side. Okay, just like this. And into that corner of the nostril and on top of the nose. And the important thing with your sponge is you don't want it to be too wet. It's better to be too dry than too wet because if it's too wet, it can run all over the place and it'll take forever to dry and you'll have a lot more trouble. Whereas if it's too dry, you can just always add a little bit more water. So. All right, and now you're going to go straight across the top. I know it seems a little redundant, but it'll help you later on to keep that shape. Now you're going to meet these two right across the middle. You're just going to dab across and fill in that space that you had in the middle. You can still kind of see where you had your initial brow ridge. That's going to be the brow ridge for your skull face. And now you're going to just fill in underneath. So squeeze your sponge together so that it's nice and small and compact. So you can fit in this space right underneath. So follow from the corner of the nostril down to the corner of the mouth and fill in that space in between. Just like this. You can do the sound effects if you want, it helps me. <laughs> Alright. Just like that. Okay, so this is the base of your skull right here. You've got your brow ridge, you've got your cheek, these are going to be your teeth and your forehead up here. All right, and now you can take the same sponge that you had if you want. Um, I'm gonna use the same one, but you're gonna use a little bit of blue. I have teal actually, but spritz that sponge that you had the white on with and do just a little corner of it in blue, as you can see right there. And now you're gonna just use that little edge and follow that brow line that you had in there before. Just do a little bit of a blue shadow. It really creates a nice effect. You could just leave it all white if you're in a really big hurry, but it, I guarantee if you use the blue, it makes a really nice effect. And you're also gonna do the same thing on the nose. You're gonna just do a little bit of blue right along in the nose right there, because it's kind of the highlighting the shapes of the skull that you're creating. Now, you're going to take a very small sponge. I like to cut them into even smaller than a quarter, just slightly smaller than that, because you're going to be going into the eye area, and you want it to be real nice and small. And this one you're going to load up with your black. And this one is most important of all to not get it too wet, because if it's too wet, it's going to run into their eyes, and that's bad. <laughs> so be very careful to make sure that this is dry, almost completely dry, just enough to get a little bit of paint. And the best way to do that, if you're not sure, is to do the dab test. So you take your paper towel like this, and you want to fill it up, and then you dab it on there to get rid of any excess water. To make sure that it's not too wet. All right. And now I'm going to have you close your eyes really gently like you're sleeping. That way we can make sure we get nice, smooth coverage. If they squeeze their eyes super tight, you get kind of a wrinkly spot. So now you're going to go right on top of the eyes, very gently. Keep dabbing if you need to, if it feels like it's too wet. Try and get just in here along the corner. And it doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to add an outline on here later. It's just to create the effect of dark eyes. 
same thing on the other side. Squeeze your sponge a little bit to help it fit in that space. Add a little bit more moisture if you need to. Always be sure to dab. Right. A lot of people also use powders for this. You can get a nice powder and that way it's more like an eyeshadow and it doesn't, you don't run the risk of getting paint in the eyes. So that's another good option. All right, so you're just kind of creating those black eyes and they can come down underneath a little bit. Just like that. And now, finally, you're gonna use your um, black and a liner brush here. This is number four Majestic. Really load your liner brush. And you're gonna start to outline your shapes. So you're gonna start I like to start kind of at the corner here, right where the eyebrows kind of come together, and you're gonna create a flick up like that. This is gonna be your angry eyebrow ridge. And you're gonna match that on the other side. Pull that around. So you want it to kind of come up along that line that you created earlier. Then you're gonna do two flicks straight in. It's creating more like angry eye wrinkles. And now you're gonna follow this right on top of the eyebrow. And, create, and so you're gonna create kind of a S shape that curls from there up along the brow and back in towards the corner of the eye on the other side like that. That's gonna be the top of your skull eye. It's already looking really scary. <laughs> and you're also gonna flick down along here maybe once or twice just to kind of fill in that little space right there. Fill in the edges if you'd like. All right. We're also going to do the same thing on the other side. One, two, maybe flip down a little bit. And now you're going to come from this corner over here and you're going to outline that brow ridge a little bit. So start and come up and then just flick in. They do not meet in the middle. They just flick towards each other to give the impression of that brow line. You can also add an extra line right here, just flicking kind of off of that, just a little one to create the illusion of kind of a depth in there. All right. Then you're gonna go right along this other side. These don't really meet in the middle either here. So you're gonna come straight out and press your brush down and follow your curve around here and come up like that. This is where you're gonna start to connect your teeth in a little bit. But for now, you're just creating that sh cheek shape. Turn your face this way, thank you. All right, so now you do the same thing. You're gonna follow up along that eyebrow, create that angry eye ridge. Secondary flip right there. And outline that shape, not connecting them in the middle. The same thing, come right around and down, and then up and over like that. So it's kind of a whoosh shape. All right, and then you just follow your line across the top here to create that forehead. All right, now I like to do the nose. So if you do a nose for a skull, it's pretty easy actually. You just pull straight down with your brush and then you kind of create it into a, um, not a half circle, but a little bit of a half circle shape. Kind of like that. So there's a split in the middle and then there's two wedges on the side. And then finally, to finish this off, you need to add your teeth. So to do that, I like to start at one side and work my way over. I like to do triangles at the top. So just start like this with a triangle. This one, the one on the edges, the farthest one that's around their mouth, I like to bring it down to the corner to give it a little bit of a spike like that. So, so kind of, see it's kind of a triangle like a tooth. Sharp tooth. All right, and then from here, I just make lots of little triangles. That. Two. I would do at least four. Just like that. Just creating your triangles across the top. They can be a little bit rounded, they don't have to be perfectly spiky. And then that last one on the edge, we're going to match the other side by giving it a little bit of a flick down to make incisors. All right, that looks awesome. You can fill in any spots that you want to adjust. Maybe make this line a little longer. But that looks really scary. I really like it. <laughs> you are all set.
Thanks everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed this scary skull tutorial. This one's really popular and it's pretty impressive too for kids and adults. So make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more and we'll see you next time.